and greetings YouTube. I am your host Jedi1c3 and I am back for another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age. And in this episode we are going to be undertaking the next part of the story and also we'll hopefully be picking up a few new uh, items, spells, etc, etc, depending on what money we can make from what we picked up in our previous episode. So in our previous episode we took out the uh, tomato hunt, which we're going to hand in in this episode. And we level grinded our way up to level 2. And so now we've got to try and get our way back into the city. And as you can see right now, there's a bit of a palaver going on at the entrance here. So let's, uh, without further ado, get on into it and see what's going on, shall we? Right, so, first of all then, let's uh, try talking to some of these people. Oh, here's Kites, who has somehow managed to get himself locked outside the gate. Now what? Huh. Open the gate! Alright, out the way! Wait a second. How can you let these chocobos through the gate and not us? What of it? This is a pedigree parade, boy. Cost tens of thousands of gil, this one did. A prettier price than a hundred of you provincials had fit. <laughs> Keep your distance. We don't want the chocobo sticking a peasant. <laughs> What'd you say? Step aside. <sighs> right then, move them in. Oh. <sighs> that does it. Ho oh, ho ho, a fine, fine chocobo you have there. Yes, uh, see the down stock, if I'm not mistaken. Change the soil, change the chocobo, am I right? Yes, yes, different style means different bouquet, too. Take a Damask in the rose wine, he may lack the flavor and depth of some of your Arcadian wines, but he has a certain strength of character. <laughs> it's not bad, really, once you get used to it. Care for some, sirs? There's more than enough for all to cool their throats, of course. You let these carts through, they close this gate is ordered. The males choke with this sand. Don't give me a scare like that. <laughs> You're lucky that ended where it did. Right. Now's our chance to go through. Ah, the ceremony will be starting soon. I'd best be hurrying. Okay, well... <sighs> Wait, what is it? Fawn! So it's quite a lengthy uh, cutscene at the moment, hence why I'm uh, limiting the uh, commentary for the moment. Is it with hatred you look upon your consul? With hatred you look upon the Empire! There is no point in asking. But 
Know this. I harbor no idle hopes of frustrating that hatred. Nor shall I ask your fealty. That is the due of your fallen king, and rightly so. King Ramanas loved his people, strove to bring you peace. His was a rule worthy of your devotion. Even now, he remains among you, protecting you. His ardor for the peace and will of Dalmasca falters not. I would ask only that you do your king honor. Together, let us embrace the peace his majesty would surely desire. Two years now divide us from war's bitter end, yet still its shadow looms over all. Stifling the infant peace, a pall only you may cast off. Achieve but this one thing, and your hatred of me and of the Empire will grieve me not. I will stand fast. I will endure your hatred, suffer your slings and arrows. I will defend Dalmasca. Here I will pay my debt. I swear it now. Though King Ramanas and Lady Ash be gone, they stand ever at the side of their people. In honoring peace, you do honor to their memory and to Dalmasca. What I ask, I ask plain. My hopes now rest with you. Is Rabanaster to your liking, my lord? It is magnificent. Take this cathedral, for instance. Elegant, whimsical in its execution. A stunning example of Galtean architecture. I hope Lord Gramus might one day look upon it himself. The patron of this evening's banquet, may it please your excellency. Uh, it is truly a profound honor to uh, make the acquaintance of our uh, the future emperor, Highness. <laughs> the people of Robin Master join me in welcoming That's you. That's enough of Highness. Though indeed I am our emperor's son, I am no prince. Arcadia's emperor is freely chosen by her people. I am but an elected official and nothing more. I, I meant no disrespect. Now that I think on it, I would not have you address me as Lord Consul, for that matter. No. Henceforth, I am a citizen of Ravanasta. Why don't you call me Vane? I could not. That would not be right. You are overly fond of formalities. I have just the remedy for that. Tonight you will join me, and we shall drink until you call me by name. Mm. How can he stand about to him like that? Fawn, you just do not get it, do you? He's not doing it because he wants to. You know what would happen if he didn't. I know, it's just... So, what would you do different? I don't know. Well... I'd do something. Fawn... Vaughn, you haven't heard a single word I've said, have you? This place has changed so much. It's like it's not even Rabanaster anymore. Like the Empire is swallowing it whole. Hey, Penel, that fate tonight. You think they'll let us in? Are you crazy? It's in the palace, and we don't have an invitation, if you hadn't noticed. So, how are we getting in? As if I'd know. Why not ask Magello to get you in? Or go see old Dallin in Lowtown? Why the sudden interest, Vaughn? I told you. I'm going to take back what's ours. Give back to Dalmasca. Come on. What do you think? If I find something, and it fetches a good price, 
How about I, uh, I buy you all dinner? Oh, please. You know as well as I do the first thing you'd buy is an airship. All hail Vaughn, sky part of Damasca. It's got a nice ring to it. Stay out of trouble. Hmm. An airship. I don't know. Maybe. But not through Miguel. Time to pay old Dallin a visit. Right, so we are now able to move freely again after that nice long lengthy cutscene. It was about 10 minutes long. Right, so let's just get our bearings. Right, so let's go. Oh, wrong button. We want to go make our way down. Actually, since we're up here, you know what? Let's. go across to the because at the moment we're in the northern end of Ravanasta and if we make our way across to the west side we can actually go and visit somewhere called the guild hall which is where we get all our elite hunts from so we'll just go ahead and stick our head around the door there and get our membership sorted to gain access we'll need to talk to the guy at the door and once you've got to his dialogue you'll want to go with the uh, top one which is okay let me in so here we are the clan hall And the guy that we want to speak to here is Mont Blanc, who is a Mughal, and he is leader of the clan hall. So we're now a member. Right, and we'll just talk to him again. And we get three potions. And at the moment he doesn't have any hunts to do, so with that we will take our leave. And now we are going to make our way down to the east side of the north end. And then we're going to head south towards the Technique and Magic Shop. So here we are in the east end then, and so the technique shop is actually, it's just here isn't it? So let's stick our head around the door here and see what techniques we can get our hands on, shall we? Of course we're going to sell our items off first, so let's go ahead and do that. And we can go ahead and just sell off these items. So we've got ourselves 728 and the only spell we can actually purchase right now is the Libra technique so we're gonna actually leave that for now we will come back and get that later right next we'll have a quick ganders at the spell shop I think and see what we can get from in there which is... I'm just trying to find a door to it. Where, where is the door gone? Oh, there it is. Okay, let's have a look. So we can get our hands on Cure, Blind, Fire and Slow. And right now I think Cure would be a very good spell to get our hands on. And I think we'll leave it at that for now. We'll come back and get the other two spells later. Oh, 
Right. I think now then we shall progress with the story. So, let's see here. There are two ways in which we can get to the lower town. One of which is actually... Ah, we can get to the lower town from here. I did not know about this entrance. And I'm the one doing the guide here. Uh, so there is an entrance up in the northern section. Where we came from a minute ago, uh, earlier. There is also one down in the uh, south entrance as well. And I believe there's also one in the east entrance as well. Right, so let's make our way down through the middle here. And once we get down to the bottom, we want to be going into old Dylan's place. So let's go ahead and stick our heads around the door. on how to secure something bigger and in armor by the east gate what you already heard about that wise i may not be but well informed i am they'll get what's coming to them someday believe me but that's not why i'm here do tell i want to know how to sneak into the palace they've got to have some great stuff in there thought i'd partake <laughs> Not one to mince words, are you, boy? The Empire protects all that's hers, and that needs the palace and all the treasures inside. That's why I'm gonna do it. To take back what's ours. So, our champion of the sewers aspires to noble action. Admirable. Perhaps I can help you. Ah! Now that I think on it, there was a rumor. Yes, a secret passageway into the palace walls. A door and a magic stone that opens the way. That's it. This is exactly why I came to talk to you first, Alan. So where's this uh, magic stone? Uh, oh, I've had it for years, if I can remember where I've tucked it away. Right then. So our next story destination will be the Giza Plains where we'll go to power up our stone. But for now, we're just going to explore around here a little bit, collect a bit of loot, etc, etc. Right, so let's do ourselves a bit of exploring here and see what chests we can find. That is if we can actually find any. Now there is a chest that spawns opposite Dylan's house and if you're wanting an easier time getting the Zodiac Spear then uh, you need to leave that chest alone as well as a, there's a couple of other chests as well but to be honest it's really not worth it so you might as well just go ahead and pick up the chests Zodiac uh, Spear is not actually as great as you'd think it is uh. Hmm. Don't seem to be able to find any chests right now. I mean, there's plenty of people here to talk to. Oh, there we go, there's a chest. We get a potion for our troubles. Uh, maybe I'm just not being very vigilant, perhaps, I don't know. Uh 
so let's make sure we're covering all the different sections of the map because again I want the achievement for completing all the different maps so we've got a travelling merchant here who sells bolts and potions but we're going to leave that for now Now I think that pretty much covers this area. So, with that in mind, let us now make our way out of here. Uh, and before we head to the south gate, we want to go to the where the big fountain is. So, to get there, we'll need to head down south, past all the shops, and once we find the person in question, you'll understand why I saved a little bit of gill, why I've not grabbed those other two spells just yet. I did have a reason for it, and that will all be made clear shortly. There we go. Right, we are looking for a... there he is, a Moogle. Uh, this guy is a cartographer guild person and he has the maps to certain areas. So we'll go ahead and purchase the top one and the bottom one for now. And we'll grab the other one off of him later when we have a bit more money in our back pocket. And we don't have enough money for the Dalmasca West Sand just yet, but we will grab that later. As soon as we've got a bit more money in our back pocket, we'll have it. So now we want to make our way down south. Into the south gate. And here's our save crystal. Now this is the red save crystals I was telling you about in one of my previous uh, episodes. These are the ones that allow us to teleport. There'll be one of these in most of the different areas. So right now we have no teleport stones. Oh yes actually I almost forgot before we head off. Let's go ahead and that hunt in. Apologies folks, I completely forgot about the hunt for a second. So let's make our way back to the inn. Which is just up on the uh, east side of the town. So if we just make our way up through the uh, pathway here. And it will be just up here on the right. Here we go, the Sandia. And if we just find... where is he? Here he is. Is it him? No, it's not him. Where is, where's he gone? There he is. And we get a teleport stone, two potions and 300 gil. So the different hunts will yield different rewards and loot. And it's definitely worth doing them all. And if we just go to the hunt board here, there is now a new hunt that's up on the board. And the petitioner for this one, I believe is... Yeah, he's also in here, so let's see if we can find him. Uh, here he is, lying down on the floor. So we'll accept the hunt. However, we're not actually going to bother with the hunt right now since we're not strong enough to deal with it. And we don't have enough party members. So we'll leave it for now. But we've now got it set up ready to go as and when 
we are ready to do so. So with that now handed in and we've now got our teleport stone, we'll now head back down towards the south gate. Back to the save point and I think actually we'll end the episode there once I get there. Since we have covered quite a bit here and the cutscene did take up quite a bit of the episode as well. I mean it really was a lengthy one, it was a good 10 minutes long, I kid you not. And so here we are back at the save point. And so next episode we will head across to the Giza Plains and see what trouble we can get ourselves into there. So thank you very much for watching. If you've liked what you've seen today, then hit that like button, be subscribed to my channel. And I'll see you all next time for more Final Fantasy XII. Bye-bye for now.